क्वेश्चन नंबर 11 ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 13.3 द क्वेश्चन इज अ मैन्युफैक्चरर हैज थ्री मशीन ऑपरेटर्स ए बी एंड सी द फर्स्ट ऑपरेटर ए प्रोड्यूसेस 1% ऑफ डिफेक्टिव आइटम ओके सो दिस दिस ऑपरेटर ए इज प्रोड्यूसिंग 1% ऑफ द डिफेक्टिव आइटम वेयर एज अदर टू ऑपरेटर्स बी एंड सी प्रोड्यूसेस 5% एंड 7% ऑफ द डिफेक्टिव आइटम्स रिस्पेक्टिवली ओके सो इट्स वेरी सिंपल टू अंडरस्टैंड ए इज ऑन जॉब 50% ऑफ द टाइम बी इज ऑन जॉब 30% ऑफ द टाइम एंड सी इज ऑन जॉब फॉर 20% ऑफ द टाइम ओके सो दिस मींस दैट ए इज प्रोड्यूसिंग 50% ऑफ द टोटल आइटम्स प्रोड्यूस्ड ओके सिमिलरली बी 30% ऑफ द टोटल आइटम प्रोड्यूस एंड सी 20% ऑफ द टोटल आइटम्स प्रोड्यूस नाउ अ डिफेक्टिव आइटम इज प्रोड्यूस्ड okay so it is given that the item is defective what is the probability that it was produced by a okay so in this question we are required to calculate the probability that the item is produced by a given that item is defective okay so to solve further we assume that uh, even is the event that a produces the item e2 be the event that b produces the item e3 be the event that c produces the item and d is the event that the item is defective okay now we are required to calculate the probability of e1 given d e1 that item is produced by a given that item is defective okay so probability of e1 is equal to 50 upon 100 because first of all probability of e1 would means that probability that the item is produced by a and this would be equal to 50 upon 100 because a is on job for 50% of the time and because he is on the job 50% of the time he is going to produce 50% of the items similarly probability of e2 that probability that the item is produced by b is equal to 30 upon 100 probability of e3 would be equal to 20 upon 100 probability that the item is produced by c and by using bayes theorem we have probability of e1 given d okay as equal to probability of e1 into probability of d given e1 whole upon probability of e1 into probability of d given e1 plus probability of e2 into probability of d given e2 plus probability of e3 into probability of d given e3 so we are required to calculate the probability of d given e1 probability of d given e2 probability of d given e3 okay so probability of d given e1 would mean that the probability that the defective item is produced by A and this is equal to 1 upon 100 because A produces 1% of the defective item. Similarly, probability of D given E2 would be equal to probability that the defective item is produced by B and this would be equal to 5 upon 100 and probability of D given E3 would be equal to the probability that the defective item is produced by C and this will be equal to 7 upon 100 because C produces 7% of the defective item and B produces 5% of the defective item. And by using Bayes theorem, we have probability of E1 given D as equal to 50 upon 100 into 1 upon 100 placing the value of probability of E into probability of D given E1 here and here and this is probability of E2 into probability of D given E2 this is probability of E3 into probability of D given E3 all these 100 and 100, 100 which are there in the denominators in both numerator and denominator are going to cancel out and this will be equal to 50 upon 50 plus 150 plus 140 or 5 upon 34 actually this would be equal to 50 upon 340 so we obtain 5 upon 34 on simplification and this is my required answer friends thanks for watching my video to watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates subscribe and like the videos on these channels on youtube hsk shiksha and math help by hsk thank you